Well, what's going on you guys? I'm back again with another story and it's the second one I wanted to go over with you guys. It was when I went to Great Wolf Lodge during the Halloween stuff in the Poconos Mountains in Pennsylvania. When I went trick-or-treating over there. And this was Wednesday, October 12th, 2016. And believe it or not, it was Yom Kippur when I did this. I actually had a day off of school, so I only missed one day. I stayed from the 12 to the 13, just overnight. It was just a 24 hour thing when going to Great Wolf Lodge for us. So we left at about like 9 in the morning. We got up about like 7.30 that day and, and yeah. We had to like cut through the Bronx and everything to get there and we also crossed LaGuardia Airport and we also crossed past Yankee Stadium on the way there. And we got there about like 12-ish or 12.30-ish. And yeah, when we, get, when we got to Great Wolf that day. It was already decorated for Halloween because Halloween was like in less than three weeks that time. And believe it or not, it's also a Wednesday, October 12th this year, just like it was in 2016. So we left on a Wednesday and came back on a Thursday. And this year, the 12th falls on a Wednesday and, and the 13th falls on a Thursday. Yeah, this was directly six years ago. And what was so funny is that we went to Great Wolf Lodge during the start of the 2016 and the 2017 NHL season. Yeah, so we entered Great Wolf Lodge about like 1230-ish and it was like already decorated for Halloween. And I actually got these orange wolf ears that they do yearly at Great Wolf Lodge, like limited edition for Halloween. Yeah, I was lucky enough to have them because I never quite know when I'm gonna do this again. So yeah, we checked into our room. We spent time at the water park for a few hours, like three or four hours. Yeah, it was starting to get cold then. Good thing they have indoor water parks. Like the temperatures could drop all they want, but we were safe in the water park where it's indoors and it's like 80 degrees in there. Yeah, we went to the one in the Poconos Mountains in Pennsylvania. And in the Poconos, it could get really cold up there. So thank Neptune for an indoor water park resort. So after we, after we played in the water park for a few hours, we got into our costumes and, and we trick-or-treated at Great Wolf Lodge in the hallways. I was a ranger player with a black eye. I had the McDonough jersey. I was actually a rangers player for Halloween in there. When I went to Great Wolf and I had like this makeup on my eye to make it look like it's a black eye. Yeah, I have videos of all this, but I'm telling you guys because it's the 60th anniversary of me doing this. So, I I went as a Rangers player and I was trick-or-treating in the hallways. But believe it or not, that Rangers jersey was not my actual Halloween costume of the year. I was truly the ma the Mad Hatter for Halloween that year from Alice in Wonderland. Like the original old school version from 51. But it was just a temporary costume for for the vacation. So I trick or treated in there. They really did a good job with the decorating in there. And then afterwards we had dinner. And then we decided to watch the animatronic storytime show, which I pretty much grew out of and we play some Magi Quest, and then we play in the arcade for like an hour or two. 
Yeah, there wasn't much to say of the trick or treating. Yeah, we only did trick or treating and dressing up in costume, but that's pretty much it. There isn't much Halloween stuff in Great Wolf Lodge like it is in Disney. You cannot compare the two. So after we play in the arcade, we went to bed and then the next morning we checked out and we played in the water park for two hours before we headed back home to Long Island. Yeah, so it was a 24 hour thing. We went from the 12th to the 13th in 2016. And we went two years after meeting Tom Kenny at the New York City Comic Con in 2014. My parents actually went to the 2016 Comic Con, believe it or not. Days before we left. It was also days after Hurricane Matthew hit in Florida, in the southeast. And we actually did Rise of the jack o lanterns in 2016. I have videos of all that, but I'm just retelling you guys the story. We even did Rise of the jack o lanterns in 2014 too. And believe it or not, when we went back when we went back home from Great Wolf that time, it was also the start of the Ranger season, the day we came home and the Rangers played the Islanders that night as a home opener of the 2016 and 2017 season. And this is our fourth overall trip to Great Wolf Lodge. And we didn't come back till May of 2017 that year. And I was in 10th grade that year. This was actually the first time in my high school career where I went to Great Wolf. So yeah, there wasn't much to say on this story. I think I should have put the two stories in one video, but it is what it is, so... It is what it is because I didn't know how much I had to say, but it turns out there wasn't much to say on both stories, so I guess that's it. These two... These two memories I will always remember, so I guess that's it. Bye.